The best age to start teaching a dog to like having her mouth handled is when she's a puppy. If you haven't yet done that, it's never too late to start. Older dogs and small dogs have a higher risk of dental-related diseases, which shortens their life. Teeth need to be cleaned regularly to prevent plaque and tartar buildup and bacterial infections that lead to bone loss in the jaw. Here's how to train a dog to be comfortable with having her teeth cleaned. Yes. Start with shaping a chin rest. Yes. Add duration to about 10 seconds. Yes. Get the dog comfortable with bridge nose targeting, curled hand, and hands coming from all directions just generally, because you'll need that later when you actually start brushing the teeth. Chin. Now you can start combining the chin rest with touching the edge of the lip. Chin. Yes. Gradually increase how much you move your finger towards the back teeth. Chin. Yes. Spread the rear gums a little to expose the back teeth. Don't forget to work on the other side too. Get the dog comfortable with putting your hand over top of her face. If at any time the dog looks uncomfortable, stop, go back a step and practice there until the dog looks very comfortable before moving on. Always give the dog the choice to move away. Yes. Adding a finger scrubber or toothbrush. Roll a narrow piece of paper towel around your index finger and wet it. This mimics a tool that you'll be putting in your dog's mouth. To build a positive association right from the start, cue your dog to nose touch it. Yes. Touch. Yes. 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 Combine the chin and the touching the object as before. Chin. This time the object comes to the dog. Chin. Yes. If the dog pulls away more than twice, then go back to an easier step. Good girl. Very nice. Chin. <laughs> Chin. Notice how calm we both are? Yes. I'm using low value treats and calm movements for this behavior. I don't want my dog bouncing around as that makes the task harder. Yes. If you're worried about feeding too many treats, set aside some of the dog's kibble yes. to train with. Change your hand position. Yes. Yes. Add duration as before. Take your time. As you've probably figured out by now, we're not in a rush. Let the dog set the speed. We want her to be really comfortable with this process. You want to play that? That's you. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Good. Chip. Once the dog is comfortable with the task, change positions. Elevate the dog on a doorstep or for smaller dogs up on a crate or table to make it easier for you. I switch sides to get Lucy used to me working on both sides. Sometimes working on a dog bed might be more comfortable for a fearful dog. Once the dog is totally comfortable with all the previous material, 
Then you can add in the rubber finger cover or an actual toothbrush. Have the dog target the tool and progress as before. Here Lucy is clearly thinking about what behavior she's offering. Yes. When she start brushing, use only light pressure and short strokes. Yes. yes. You know. Girl. Dip the brush in a mug of water to clean between trials. You can use a meat broth if it helps your dog enjoy the process more. Good girl. Yes. A three-sided toothbrush allows you to get all sides of the rear teeth with a minimum of fuss. Use a forward and back motion with light pressure. To use toothpaste or not. I don't use toothpaste of any kind as just the physical action of brushing removes the bacteria from the teeth. Check the article in the video description for what you can use if your dog has really bad teeth.